this part and in this very short tutorial I'm going to take you through um, how to create simple UI elements for your app I'm going to create something that looks very similar to this we are going to create some um, sliders two different kinds of sliders like this one and that one and then we are also going to create um, switches like these two but the, the trick here is that the process or the technique is very simple it's very straightforward and it runs through so you would end up using the same process to create various things even outside of um, these these two um, different sliders and then one switch that's the start I'm going to create a new page and then I'm going to create a new layer let's get a background for ourselves um, Colors okay, so alt backspace and it's going to fill it up. I'm um, going to pick a shape from here, click that. I'm going to choose this one, and I'm just going to draw a stretch and then change the color to a far deeper one. I'm going to create a distinction between the background and this one. So, yes, that will be okay. Right. So we have this this simple let's reposition. Um, click um, enter B and I'm going to bring the move to let's duplicate this layer by right. clicking and dragging it onto this. Or you can also just click here and we create a new one for you. Um, and then with this I'm going to double click here or right click on that you can choose to or right click. And choose blend then options. And the blend options you're going to um, do some very very simple stuff here. Um, the browser is going to be using these simple simple tools. But then for this particular, I'm going to use the gradient overlay. On some occasions, you're going to use stroke, um, bevel and emboss, outer glow and drop shadows. And then for this particular, I'm going to click on gradient valley and let's see what happens. So it's going to give us direct feedback from here. I'm going to change the color from this color gradient green. Let's make it say um, green, green. Let's choose a deep a color like this, and then on this side, we're going to change the color as well. Click on that, choose this color, click on this, and then you can edit this from here. Choose a brighter color, okay, and then click OK. So we are done with our first UI element, which is a simple slider. And then to demonstrate the effect, I click on this and tap, okay. Realize that there's going to be the background, there's going to be the element to fill our slider. So that's a very first um, type of slider, a very simple one. I'm going to create another one. This time around, you're not going to use the um, tools, you're just going to use the selection tool. I'm going to pick a rectangular marquee tool. On the new layer, I'm going to fill it up. Create this. And then we like the same color. So alt backspace. Sorry, we need a deeper color. See like this one. Click alt backspace and fills it up. One nice thing about using selection tools is that um, from here you can manipulate using the move to to adjust size and anything you want. So let's get something very small. Sorry about that. I'll select the layout to it again and then move. I don't want to distort. So let's turn off the show on transform controls. And move it back here okay so we are going to duplicate again and then create the fill color so I'm going to control click on this to create a selection from the new layer I'm going to change the color the fill color and make it um, slightly like this click OK and then hold back space Click outside 
do a refill click the the tab visor bring the transform tool and then going to show say it's fill switch level click on ok and then from here i'm going to we can either choose to use um these tools or go ahead excuse me go ahead and then use an elliptical archive tool and then on a new layer it's, it's appropriate for you to be renaming this to you know, make things simpler for you so let's get back to the um, background black Fill blue and then header okay and then draw a circle hold shift to make the size proportional and then alt to make it from to draw it from the center you can as well hold space to move it about okay so that would be perfect and just leave it so we are going to fill this with a white color Alt backspace to fill it up. Click anywhere to make a selection. Bring your move to. It already look, looks good from this angle, but that's not enough. Let's bring in some 3D really kind of thing to this whole header thing. Double click on that, or you could as well right click and then. I'm not sorry about that. And then this time I'm going to drop shadow. Drop shadow. Realize that there's this. It gives you some sort of depth. So let's turn it off and see what happens. This is very flat. And this brings in some level of depth. Let's turn off this use global light. And then reposition the direction of the sun, say 90 degrees. Change this from multiply to normal. Increase um, opacity a bit. It already looks good. And you can also increase the size just a little bit. Okay, so our second slide is also done. Very very simple. Um, let's get back to our old stuff and see what's left. Okay, okay. Um, the same techniques for the so let's just keep that one and then concentrate on our switch now. Okay, so with a switch, a review selection for this one. Let's go back to our old system where we use the shape. Let's select this one again. Then draw the shape. Let's change this to um, say color red. Mm. Yes, yes, click OK. Okay, let's double click here again to bring in some blending options. And then we're going to add, we could have added inner shadow. But that doesn't give you enough control. So what I'm going to use this time is inner glow. Inner glow. Realize that it adds some level of white um inner change to this whole thing. So I'm going to click and then make a few changes. First of all, I'm going to change this color. Make it something random. Just to um show me what I'm doing so far when I'll change this. Okay. So this is slightly better. Change this one back to black. Make it black. Okay, change from screen to normal. And then play with the size just a little bit. Six to say sixteen. The opacity drop it just a little bit. Okay, so we're done with that. And then from here, realize that that inner glow thing gave us some level of depth. It, it makes it lose that flat shape. And it makes this look as if it is there is a hole inside this black background. So let's create um, our slider um, from this. Let's see. Um, okay, let's use this one. Create a new layer by clicking here. And then click and this all shit. And give the size just a little bit. Okay, and then fill it with white. Click, can reposition this 
and then the same technique we use for that let's add a different form of blend option let's do emboss this time up so realize that gives it this nice tvd look and so i shall increase the depth just a little and then the size and then change this to either play with your party or play with this same side whatever would work out for you but these are the, the various and then we come in with our inner sorry um we use a drop shadow turn off use global light change the position of the sun but um sorry make this small myself multiply change the size of the shadow make it a little okay and then what what i'm going to do this time let's switch off the bevel and emboss then use the ingredients um, well for just help them with turn off this and then change this to um okay that's 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 okay but let's bring in this slider uh, make it more like this right okay Okay, and then I'll bring back the damn boys. I don't want too much. Sorry about that. I don't want too much black. Okay, so that's very simple. I can just add something extra. Click on the text to click on this and then just type in on. Change the size of this color being white. The V. To bring the move to every position this inside here that done and then we could as well you know turn this one into um, some sort of another off switch so let's group these and then duplicate that element pull this down reposition our sliders reposition the header this side change this to up click this now this one here change this um, okay and then change this to say this let's pick this color turns off okay let's add something simple let's go back and add something to our um our header let's um click on outer blue change that color to the up color let it glow that way and then change from screen to normal so that it's going to look white visible and then change the size something like that we gotta as well add stroke so it's going to adjust something extra to the whole magic but that's 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 a choice okay then we could go back to the old shape and then do something that's to that as well i will click on this um make an outer glue change the color to reflect this on red color okay increase the size just a little bit and then you can choose to add stroke or not to add stroke so the conclusion here is quite simple the method is the same for anything you want to do from here you can choose to export as a png file to any um system you are working on and then at least you bring in some levels of transparency especially with these backgrounds and then sorry the main layer background and then you rather make those changes in your um system so i'm going to export things like these are sprites i'm going to just cut them up so this is the end of the tutorial if you have any questions comment just leave them in the box below see you i'm out